that look about right? That looks about right. Today we are going to be talking about what is anointed. What is anointed? How did it get started? I get this question all the time. Like all the time. What is anointed? What do you do? <laughs> like what do you even do? Um, yeah, we're going to talk about it. We're going to get to talk about how we got started, why we even started, and the process of how all of this came to be. One of the questions I get all the time is, how did you come up with the name of your company? My original name for the Instagram account that is now currently today anointed was Afflicted Anointed Alive. It was all three. It was not just one. It was all three. <laughs> But there was a purpose to that. So I was in a time in my life where I was praying, I was going through a lot of pain and I was praying and I was asking God, Lord, what are three words that you would use to describe my life? Because this account was going to be me expressing my journey through my faith, my experiences with God, the things that he was teaching me, all of these things. And those were the three words. So afflicted. I've been through a lot in my life, but um, I felt that, you know, there was anointing on my life as there's anointing on your life as well. And we're all anointed for different things, for different measures, but anointing is to be set apart for the purpose of God. So anointed was the key. It was the center. I was afflicted, but I was anointed for a special purpose. And the last part, alive. So some of you guys might be like, what the heck? Of course you're alive. You're walking around and saying, no, I meant like to truly live. Um, John 10, 10, you know, the enemy kill, comes to seek, kill and destroy, but I have come to give you life and to give you life abundantly. So it was always for me, abundance in being alive. So abundantly alive. And so afflicted anointing alive was the handle, was everything that I believed in. It was, you know, so much. Um, and those were the three words. And from there, I just continued to, you know, be diligent in prayer in reading and communing with the Lord. And he would just put on different things in my heart and I would just post and I would just express my journey. There was like probably maybe a hundred people following max, like my friends, my mom, any, you know, like <laughs> just people that cared about me, my friends, maybe people that saw it and were inspired. That was the always the intention behind it and is still the intention behind it today. Don't be mistaken. That is still the intention. Um, because sharing your journey and vulnerability also includes encouragement. So that's at the core of what I believe in and what I feel like I'm called to do. But the way that the products came about is also what I want to explain. I get a lot of questions of people asking how I started my business in the first place. I never thought, oh, I want to run a small business. Never in my mind was that part of the plan. <laughs> Never. <laughs> but it just kind of happened. It kind of like just fell into place and that's the God that we serve. Honestly, like, amen. Drop a little amen somewhere. Do it. Say it. Just say amen. I don't know. Anointed came out of my own revelations and my walk with God. And it actually all began because of the prayer books. I actually created this place this book this notebook to keep track of all my prayers because i wanted to be diligent in praying for the people that i love the people around me the people that didn't know the lord and i created a system for it the system that worked for me i would pray every day i would keep tally marks and i would highlight the prayer actually why don't i just show you give me one minute i'm gonna go get it okay so i have it look how cute i was i even painted it i was super oh don't look at my nails <laughs> I haven't painted them. It was something special for me and it says pray more worry less on the cover. And um, what I do is I basically have, oh my gosh, the paper is falling out. But I have all of these places and they're actually highlighted boxes of prayers that were answered. Literally, look at this. And that's how it began. So I felt encouraged. I felt like I had a mini revival in my heart in the realm of prayer. And so what I did was I posted on my personal Instagram. I was like, hey, I made this thing. I clearly remember the day that I posted. I was gonna say, hey, I made this prayer book. It's really impacted me. If you want one, I can make one for you. 
I'll just give it to you. And I was terrified. I was literally crying. I was so afraid. And I had like the, like the heart flutters. Um, and I almost didn't do it. Never in a million years did I think that that one step of faith would lead to me owning my own company. It took prayer for me to hit the button and say yes because I had to get to the point where I was literally willing to say, okay, God, I'm all in. And even though it sounds silly, that that would scare me, it was a big deal for me. So it was a big step in faith. And that one step in faith has led to this. So I made a bunch of prayer books for my friends that wanted them. And I would literally just hand them out for free, make them for my family members, make it for their friends, make it for my friends that were interested. So years go by and um, I am encouraged to um, purchase printed versions of the books. We went literally from this to these. From there, I started to take things more seriously in terms of actually getting a website because Etsy fees were... A lot of people ask me, well, how do you even come up with these ideas for products? I feel like the Lord has put these ideas on my heart for a reason. These, literally, if I'm praying or if I'm reading or if I'm singing, worshiping, I'm in a worship event, literally ideas will, will flash in my mind. And all I have to do is be faithful and write them down and say, okay, Lord, I'm hearing you and I have to take these steps of faith. That's how I get my ideas or divine inspirations or anything like that, whatever you want to call it. Um, so then how did we get to this? Um, that's a really good story. I wanted to create something that reminded me that I had an anointing on my life and reminded other people, wow, I'm gonna get emotional. Reminded other people that they have an anointing on their life too. So, whatever you're going through, whatever you've been through, just know that you are anointed for something special. And I know that sometimes the pain is so awful, so unbearable, so impossible. And I'm so sorry for your pain. I just want you to know that you do have a purpose in this life. And that's the whole mission behind Anointed is to remind people that their lives are anointed, your life is anointed. You have a story that nobody else can tell the way that you can tell it. You have something in your heart, you have passions in your heart, you have desires in your heart, you have just words that need to be shared with the world. And the Lord has put specific passions, visions, dreams on your heart, in your mind, that are unique to you and you are anointed. So that's the long-winded version of how we started and we're just expanding from there. We've gotten the most traction from Reels and it's been a crazy experience of connecting with Christians and it's been humbling. It's been a humbling journey, difficult, scary <laughs> but that's okay and i want to encourage you that not only are you anointed but it's okay to step out in faith and fail it's okay to start slow and it's okay to not know not know not have a plan because sometimes it'll just magically or divinely fall together. Thanks, guys. If you watch this whole thing, God bless your soul. I hope it blessed you. But till then, Mwah! till then doesn't make any sense. Until next time. Mwah! Love you. Hugs. Virtual hug. That's it. Oh, um. <laughs> I'm gonna forget, I have to do the YouTube thing. Subscribe, like, comment below. Comment any questions. I wanna do a video answering questions. Do I share my name? I don't know, we'll find out. But that's it. Okay, now for real, bye. Mwah.
<laughs> oh, this thing is so long. <laughs>